we can select preview and now we're ready to fire up the Amazon live stream. Let's select that. We have a couple of seconds. So let's go ahead. Let's change our displays right here. And now you can see here is the Amazon live stream for us. So we can see it in real time and it's working great. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Restream to stream on Amazon Live or other custom streaming services. Shout out to Restream for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna find out more about Restream or sign up for the free plan or a paid plan, the link will be in my video description below. You can see the pricing option right here for individuals. This is the monthly option you'll pay. Then we have a yearly option as well with a nice discount up to 20%. You will have to have at least a standard plan to stream on Amazon Live or other custom services. You could have a professional plan as well that gives you three custom platforms instead of just one. But for today, for Amazon Live or a different platform, you only need to have the standard plan. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything set up. So I'm in my Restream account right now. You can see my dashboard. I have the professional plan. You can see I have custom RTMP already set up. And this is for my Amazon Live. But let's go ahead, let's add a new one. Select Add Channel up here. Go to the bottom right here, it says RTMP, custom RTMP, select that. Now just copy and paste your URL from Amazon Live and your stream key, select add channel and you're all set and ready to go. Now let me show you within the Amazon Live app how to find that information so you can copy it over correctly. So here's the Amazon Live app in the live stream that we're gonna be setting up and using for this video. You can see I have practice mode turned on as well. That's just for this video so when I do the stream that you guys can see on Amazon, it's not live to anybody else. But scroll down and view your stream settings. Make sure you have external camera selected. And then once you do that, you can see right below it, it says get URL and stream key. You're gonna click that button and then it's gonna send the information to you. You can choose how you want to receive it. Just keep that private, don't show anybody. It will give you exactly what you need, like you see on the screen here for RTMP URL and your stream key. Copy it over, however you need to do it and you're all set and ready to go. So that's how you get the information from the Amazon Live app. Enter it on the website right here. And now let's go ahead, let me fire up the stream and you guys can see it in action. So I got a lot of moving parts here, but we're all set and ready to go now to fire up our Amazon Live stream. So you can see here's the stream right here through OBS. So we can select start streaming. And that's gonna take a second to connect, but there you go, check it out right here. Restream's already loading it. So you can see that right there. And there's our stream preview. This is great. So we can see everything right here, our bit rate, we're healthy, we're all good. So that's all set up and ready to go. Now we can go back to the mobile app. So you can see the mobile app right here on the screen. We can select preview. And now we're ready to fire up the Amazon live stream. Let's select that. We have a couple of seconds. So let's go ahead, let's change our displays right here. And now you can see here is the Amazon live stream for us. So we can see it in real time and it's working great. Check that out, how cool is that? Pretty sweet, right guys? So no issues there, let's go ahead. We can change um, our scenes right now in OBS. You can see the top cam, but we're streaming live on Amazon right now. Look, I can type a message, just sent a message. You can see that come through there. So everything is working as you would expect right through Restream, no issues at all. So again, if we wanted to use this to broadcast out to multiple platforms, we could right from within Restream, which is great. So if we want to stream on Amazon Live and Twitch, Amazon Live and YouTube, Amazon Live, Facebook, Twitch, all the above, you can do that with Restream. Now let's go ahead, let's take a look at a different way to do it within Restream's live studio. So you can see I'm back at the Restream dashboard now where we can go to the top right hand corner and select the big orange button that says enter live studio. And now we're in Restream's live studio right here. It loaded our top webcam as our video source. We can input a screen too, just for fun. So we can share our screen. You guys can see what that looks like on here. Let's turn that on. There we go. We got a fun layout, great background graphics, love the overlays and everything Restream has to offer. If you're wanting to find out more about the settings and features here, be sure to check out the other Restream videos on my channel for more information. But to continue on to Amazon Live, let's go ahead, let's select the setup option. Now we need to choose our destination, custom RTMP. At this step, just keep in mind that title changes are not supported for custom RTMP. So now that we have our destination selected, we could do multiple options right here if we wanted, not just 
Amazon Live or our custom streaming service. But once we have them selected, we can select go live. Let's go ahead, let's push that now. And now you can see we're live right now. Everything's in real time. We can end the stream really easily too. But let's go over to the Amazon app now on our mobile device. We gotta wait a second for it to get the data. But now we can choose practice now. And in three seconds, we're gonna go live. So let's pull up the live preview on Amazon right here. So let's get it, there it is. You can see it on the screen right now. That's the live preview, that's what we're doing. Watch, I can type in the chat too. Just sent a message that came right through on Amazon, which is so cool. Then we could go back into the studio so I can tweak some stuff if we wanted. So you can see I just changed the picture settings. It's gonna take a second for that to show, there it is. So we can do all those things and then we could you know, bring our guests in, change our, um, you know, screen sharing options, camera, audio, video, all that fun stuff right from within the live studio option on Restream's site, which is so cool, guys. It's integrated directly in with Restream. So you can do OBS like I did earlier, XSplit, anything like that, or you can just do it right in-house through their live studio app. Pretty cool, guys. All of that can be done in real time as you're streaming too, which is pretty sweet. So... Everything is working great. You can see the Amazon live stream coming through. We can go back to this view if we want. We can also then turn off the screen share and then we can just go back to the overhead camera. So you can see everything right there in real time. It's working just fine for our Amazon live stream. So you have two different options in review. You could do OBS, XSplit, something like that. Capture it and then beam it out to a bunch of different destinations or just one destination like your custom RTMP or you can go right into the live studio app within Restream's website on your browser, and then you could do the same thing, beam it out to multiple destinations or just one destination if you want, like Amazon Live, as you see here in this video. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel? We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord, you can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.